oh this is easy and I'm going to show you how to make your own hair texture here so we'll load one of these projects up here and I got the project one and uh, then we're going to get something like this so if I go to the sub tool here here's my hair and here's a this is actually a flattened cube um, that I brought in from another package um, it seems to work better than a plane and what I did was uh, create hair on this or fibers so basically what you do is you come over to the fiber mesh here preview this um, you want your gravity to go straight up I'm not going to go in full detail of that and actually uh, after I had the gravity um, going one way then I came up with something like this so then what I did was um, if I scale this back a little bit you notice that the uh, background is pure black and it does not have any gradient so if we go to the document here what I did was I resized it 512 by 512 um, another thing is I turned off the range the center and all three of these are zeroed out and the background is black that way if it renders out and we're being grabbing this uh, image here um, if there's anything in the background black will appear transparent um, if there's any other color it'll pick it up you'll see here in just a second so basically you can turn this any direction that you want most most hair textures you see are tipping up like this another thing that I did is uh, I trim this up by just grabbing this like here and trim that up and went to the geometry and delete the hidden here that way you know we don't want to render a bunch of stuff here because it's just gonna slow us up so we'll scale it right here and the BPR render and wait a second then you get something like this then I went to the texture here then what you want to do is you grab the dock here then there's your new texture and you can see it's 512 by 512 then what you want to do is you want to export it now I could make the uh, texture uh, height and width um, larger but I use these to embed into my materials and 512 by 512 is sufficient and what I usually do is I come over here and go down the modifier and I got some options to uh, I use a tri shader here to start embedding some textures in here now if you want to save these out as textures in another application you might want to take your document and go maybe 1024 by 1024 so um, that's another thing you can do and if we come down to the texture map here we can also apply textures. If I select here, we can select uh, anything. Um, let's go off the wall and select this one here. All right, it's giving me a little pop up here. So what we're gonna do is, uh, it's not applying a texture, so we need to go ahead and go to the UV uh, map here and fiber UV. And also, um, as you can see, the texture's on, but we don't see any texture here is because we need to come up to the fiber here and turn off the preview and when we do that then we can render that out then we get something like that let's go ahead and load up this original first one that I started with here all right this is a stage one that I used right here and we'll render that one right here uh, this one is the strands are going left to right All right, now we're gonna go into step two here and load up project two. Now, project two is a modified version of, of project one. We'll select here. And all I did was select the brushes and went over here, G for the grooming brushes, and do a little bit of modification here. And uh, we can render that out. Once it's rendered, once again, I went to the texture here, grab doc then took this one here and exported it out uh, this one here it's got the texture to it we can get different effects by turning this on or off or messing with the material and we'll render that out one more time 
and we get something like that let's go to step three here this is another modified version and uh, this with no texture here and we'll render that out once again if we like this we can go to texture and grab dot and this time I'm gonna see if I can come up with a little bit different effect uh, let's go with something a little dark uh, let's turn this on and off see if we can go a lot different not a whole lot of difference uh, we can come over here and change things turn things on and off and let's do a render here real quick and we can get something like that now I pause the video for a second and like I said I use the tri shader right here and um, I'm not going to get in full detail of uh, what I did here, but uh, one of the materials that were transferred to the tri shader was one of the hair materials here. So basically, I selected that one here, copied that one right there. Then I switched over back over here and pasted that. So, not getting full detail. Another thing is you can do is um, zooming in and out of this. Uh, Air texture when you render and you can get different effects which is kind of neat so we'll take a look at this right here real quick and we get something like that and also like I said when we zoom I'm gonna zoom way in here it's gonna make it probably pretty slow here so bear with me and we'll render that one out zoomed way in on this one here and we get something like this, which is kind of cool. We're going to go over here 